This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a solar storm, so I can't keep alive right now. We're going to do this as a premiere. I hope you all enjoy it. I will be with you all. We're going to do it quickly. James Kaufman will news report today, May 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Let's look at our KP indexes, which is really a combo of solar winds and plasma inbound hitting Earth satellites. Uh, we'll start with our Bowler KP index. It looks like we started the day or end of the day yesterday with a G2, started the day with a G2. We were up to a G3 geomagnetic storm. Then we had six hours of varied geomagnetic disturbances. To the Fredericksburg, we ended the day with a G1. We had six more hours of G1. It's going to be from 7 to 10 and 10 to 3. Then we went to a geomagnetic disturbance uh, from 3 till 6 this morning. Uh, our estimated planetary index owned by NASA and NOAA just upgraded to thirds. Look at what we just got out of. We all need a break. We ended the day yesterday with a geomagnetic disturbance, then a G2, and those are all, no, well, excuse me, G3. Those are all G3 geomagnetic storms, I believe. Is that it? No, we'll see on the next screen. Followed by a geomagnetic disturbance. Move to the college index, end of the day with a G1 geomagnetic disturbance, opening the day with three more hours of geomagnetic disturbance, 7 to 10 central time, 10 till, well, 10 till 1, a G2, 1 till 4, a G1, 4 till 7, we didn't get any sleep, another G1. Again, I don't think YouTube had anything to do with this going live. I believe this time we're actually being hit by a solar storm again. It's just going to populate when, well, that next hour ends, which is going to be 10, 10 to 1. So a little bit far off. Started or ended the day out with a G2. Started the day out with a G2. And we had six hours of G2 geomagnetic storm. Then we fell off to absolutely nothing going on. I'm thinking we're getting hit right now, probably by the X flare from yesterday, the strong X flare. And by yesterday, obviously, I meant the 5.87 here on the 11th. Today, it's still the 13th. We've had another inflare here at one. Point one, I believe it says 1.2 might have been stronger followed up by a pretty sizable M flare here an M8 pretty much uh, yesterday we had an X flare but it just barely reached X territory here followed up by the M uh, I believe it was a little bit stronger than we're seeing here today we had an M6.6 .6 that lasted about six hours in M territory. An M6.66, the real numbers. And we've had several inflares since then, two small ones and one decent size, maybe M1.5, followed up by the X fair that we just, just have had. It's going to be an X1.78. I already know that, of course. Moving over to spaceweatherlive.com, we see we're running a baseline of about a C5. Incredible. We used to report that as a huge solar flare, right? 3664 is most of our trouble, even though it's on the limb. There's an M6.66. Most recently, that same sunspot group uh, created the M16 or really M1.72X flare. It's mostly around the limb, so I'm guessing it was a much larger flare than that right before that. We had an M2.5 and an M1.5 from that same solar flare. We also have air at 3674, just alpha beta in play with an M1. And air at 3676 in play with a C6.3. 80% chance of M-class solar flares, 40% chance of X-class uh, solar flares. 
And that pretty much sums it up. And we've lost complexity as soon as it goes around the sun. Or that's what they do with it as soon as it goes around the sun on Space Weather Live. And it over Space Weather Live. Cactus 1 on the right. Wow. That's that X flare. X 5.78. And look at the energetic particles, what they call them. They're protons and electrons and x-rays nailing Earth and Lasco C3. It's only 150, 200 miles above Earth, orbiting Earth. Remember, the sun's 244,000 miles away. And I re as I remember, we have a rock or something larger than a rock. Look at explosions. It's only on the 11th. This is all going to catch up to us. Them telling us that the uh, storm is over is the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. All right, y'all are about to see two huge X explosions there, but you're about to see something really curious coming in. Uh, and uh, we're heading into the 12th, about to hit the 13th. I want you to watch from the bottom here not to hit, so watch that. Or, oh, there it is. Look. It seems to be white. It white and black. I'm going to play it again. White and black. Steps, uh, actually separate and come back together. There it is right there. Almost like some kind of missile or bomb headed for our sun. And then when it would have hit, you're going to see right about now an explosion, probably an x flare. They cut the time out for several. It's the 13th today at 8 UTC time. We should, and right about now, there is the 6. Is that a M6.6? .6? If it is, I'm the Pope. And then this is M6.66. Now we all saw that charge going into the sun. And I'm guessing that was, and this is a guess here. Might be a little bit too late here. Try it here. Well, that's the explosion it caused, right? Uh, it's going to be too far off. We'll just go ahead and play it through, guys. This does not bring us far enough into present time to actually show us the x 1.7 it just hit look at this there it is what is it the white thing leaves comes back leaves and comes back freak show taking a look at our star this is a little bit earlier picture 3680 here has been named now and i just show you one because it's taken me five times to get out 3664 should be around the limb. This was taken uh, really this morning at 7 a.m. So uh, more than 12, uh, 17 hours ago. I think 3664, even after the X 1.7 flare, is out of the picture. There are 15 sunspots facing us, and that includes 3680. That looks reverse polarity to me, you tell me. Over to our proton flux, it looks like the M6.66 diamond is right. Push this right back into a proton storm after we had actually left the proton storm. It's not as strong as the highest point, but it's very close to the highest point and could intensify. This is a proton storm, meaning we have a polar cap absorption event going on right now. So over to go, solar ultraviolet image, your 195 angstroms. We're lucky enough to catch that X flare, the X 1.78, 1.72. Bam, looks like it headed directly towards Earth. Remember, our geomagnetic connection that makes it uh, Earth orbit the sun is from that far limb. And every time we've seen a large explosion, probably much bigger than they say, because it's eclipsed by the limb, now, Earth has geomagnetic activity associated with that solar flare and associated chrome mass ejection. And I want to also point out, look at all these sunspots that are so active coming around the limb here. Again, we've just named 3680. Now get ready to 
rumble because this is worse than what we did face just this week. Over at Lasco C3, those are all quote-unquote energetic particles. Got Venus on the right. There's a Jupiter's on the left. And we're, we saw that 6.6. .6. Look at all the energetic particles. And right as this ends, it looks like we're catching. That was the M6.6. .6. These are the particles about to hit again. You can see them right there. And at the end of the day, we can see that big X flare come out of our old friend 3664 period. Oh, the Space Weather Prediction Center, they have a big impact right on the end of the day on the 14th tomorrow evening. I'm guessing that's the X flare they said that was going to miss us or give us a glancing blow. I don't think so. They also have solar winds headed back up from 300 where they aren't now. Uh, up to over 600 kilometers per second. So get ready for tomorrow evening as well. It'll be another freak show. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in a polar cap absorption event that's strengthened in the southern pole. The northern pole should always be stronger because we're being pulled by the sun. That means we're uh, below the plane of the sun. It's a geomagnetic connection. And you can see the x-rays and, uh, well, M flares and that's well there's your X flare right there right luckily again over uh, Russia Japan the Philippines Indonesia very strong storm here indeed continuing so taking a look at the back side of the Sun you can see those sunspots started to break up just like I told you they would uh, some are in the northern region, some are in the southern, nothing on the equator, at least when they get around Earth-facing. Uh, we've got some very dangerous large sunspots coming around. We're going to have to keep an eye, especially on 010. Over to discover real-time solar wind, our newest satellite. Looks like there is no plasma to speak of. Solar winds have gone down from 750 to... Get a good reading here somewhere, 568, which is still a good clip. We have temperature rising here for no apparent reason. Kind of strange. Shields are up and down. We need some shields, folks. Scotty, give them all she's got. We'll go ahead and check that with ACE, real-time space weather, our other satellite in the air above Earth, about 200 miles up, they say. Hard for me to say, but remember... The sun is 93.3 million miles away. So anything that's uh, hitting these satellites is also hitting Earth. I want you to see how calm the temperatures are, how solar winds went from 800 to what looks like about 600 here. It's probably more more less what happened here. We also have, well, some plasma above space weather threshold of 10. Not very far, and then just a couple of, probably because, well, I see temperature rising. I don't see uh, speed dropping, but these are probably real. Uh, they actually register between about 15 and 30 centimeters cubed. Nothing to speak of. Shields are down. Temperatures are cool. Over to SDA HMI magnetogram image well this is going to be real time ar 3664 this was actually taken at 10 p.m tonight ladies and gentlemen 10 p.m tonight so that's where ar 3664 is um, and let's see what's coming around these look like negative over positive black over white reverse polarity this is definitely reverse polarity white over black southern hemisphere uh, wait until y'all see what's coming around the limb. It's going to be a tough 12-day trans. Now, just for embarrassment here, towards NASA, this has not been updated since the 30th, so 284. So, 195, not updated since the 30th. Sad, same picture. They're all like this, but I thought y'all should get the gist. 171 Angstrom Soho, not updated since the 30th. What is that going to be? Four, 15 days ago? 
to it. There you go. The saddest part is they didn't even update the Goodard is with Spiral for the last 15 days. The 4th, 5th never happened. Happened on the 1st, 2nd, which was unpredicted. This 10th thing, a complete, completely falling into luck after tripping. That's it, okay? Uh, this was made on the 30th, and somehow they knew that we'd be hit on the 10th, 11th, and 12th on the 30th. That would be impossible, right? Unless they have a looking glass, a looking glass, or they can see into the future, or they're causing this. There's several reasons this could be correct. All right, here we are heading into the 8th, 9th, 10th. 11th didn't work out so well, and then they have solar winds. Well, I've never seen the ESA euphoria have solar winds up this high, but that's about where they went. And that is on the 13th. Uh, really, it happened yesterday. They completely blew all this. They thought we were seeing plasma of 100 centimeters. It started at 55 or 45, went to 80, went to 100. And got all three of them wrong. This is their second day back at work. And finally, the planets today dot come out of Spain. Uh, our moon is luckily not lined up with the sun, Jupiter, Uranus, and Venus. We have an offsetting Saturn over here. But it will be in about nine days, eight days, and we should have increased earthquake activity, volcanic activity uh, because of that lineup. And because of all the charging in our our tectonic plates over the last three days. So y'all get ready for an uptick, at least in earthquake activity. I'll keep you covered. God bless you guys. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world. God bless.